Hey guys, I am here with Art Splash 3D Liquid Art. This is actually the winner of the Toy Box, the TV show. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you guys watched it or not. I own, I haven't even caught up. <laughs> I watched a few episodes, but I didn't watch all of them, so I didn't even know who won, and then I saw this and I was like, oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> so this is exclusive to Toys R Us. Uh, it looks like, you know, water art. I don't know what you're gonna, we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna have to check this out. It says paint your design here. Uh, paint wells, six art sheets included. This is made by Mattel. Let's flip this over. It seems really skinny, whatever it is. Uh, here's a look at the back. Use the aqua pen for easy painting. Everything fits in storage area. One, use the aqua pen to place water on the art sheet. Two, make any design you want. You can even change colors with the aqua pen. Three, when you're finished, you can use the art sheet again and again. Custom mix water into infinite combinations of color. Easy no spill design tray. Hmm. And then there's a little bit about the inventor down here. I will zoom in here so you guys can take a closer look and you can pause it and read it if you really want to. Contents, design station, two aqua pens, three dye containers, three diluting containers, six art sheets, and a storage container lid. So let's go ahead and take this out so we can take a closer look at it and what it does. All right guys, I have it all out. I had a huge spill. I went to go get water and then I ended up spilling it everywhere, but I just cleaned it up. It's still a little bit wet everywhere, but that's okay. I wanted to show you the little prints we get first. We have a robot, a fish, a little like, like a doily design, some flowers. I think that kind of looks like, that's a heart, but it kind of looks like a butterfly at the same time for some reason. An owl, and back to the robot, and I think today we're going to make the robot, or paint the robot. That will be fun. And there's, it's blank on the back. And I guess you just set it here. There's a little piece that goes here, you just set it here. This is so much bigger than I thought it was, by the way. Just throwing that out there. So I have the instructions here, which are wet. Uh, it says for setup, you get the diluting containers and you fill them up to the line with water. So I've done that. So I have all three of those there. I'm going to push this back while we work with one. And then you take the three dye tubes and squeeze three to four drops of dye into each water container. One, per, one color per container. The more drops you add, the more saturated the color. So let's go ahead. We'll take the yellow first. Wait, what did it say? Three drops. One, two, three. Okay. Oh geez. Whoopsies. I gotta go get I gotta go get a piece of paper towel. Well now I'm going to have yellow hands for the next couple days. That's okay. Okay, let's just keep going. Uh try not to get that on your hands. Um I'm just super clumsy. Try opening it straight up. See what see it like it it it, it got everywhere in like the shipment process so that's why it's not like the fault of the, container, the, the toy or anything uh let's see next we have blue whoa that really poured out of there so be careful when you do that all right let me just set the dye containers off to the side here and i have my yellow hand and let's see next we use the color mixing reservoirs on the design studio to make the colors you want to create. So take the aqua pen, squeeze it, and then put it in the container of the colored water. If you do want to collect and slowly release your pinch, this will suck up the colored water. Next, place the aqua pen in the reservoir you wish to use and squeeze it again. You can go straight red, blue, or yellow. If you'd like, mix the colors together. This will make an infinite array of colors to use. Blue and yellow make green, red and, purple, red and blue make purple, and so on. You get the idea. There's no limit to colors. No, when mixing two or more, more colors in the same reservoir, make sure you give the aqua pen a good squeeze to expel all of the first colored water before dipping it in the next. And then, <laughs> let's just jump ahead real quick. We select the design that we want, which we did, and then the art sheet has special segments created to react with water to make your design. Decide which colored water you want to deposit on which segments. Use the aqua pen to suck up the water you have created in your mixing reservoir. Next, use the aqua pen to gently squeeze onto the segment that you have chosen. If you have water left over on the aqua pen, you may use it on another segment. If you wish to decorate the same color of water, or if you're finished for now, squeeze the remaining colored water back into the reservoir. If you want to change the color, use the aqua pen to suck up and remove the water 
On an individual segment, continue to decorate the art sheet as you wish, adding colored water until all the segments have been colored. Sit back and enjoy your beautiful art. Take a picture and share it with your friends. Hashtag art splash. Tip, if any, or note, if any droplets fall onto the art sheet and, add, and not onto the segment, you can suck them up using an aqua pen. Okay, and then <laughs> let's just go for cleaning it up as well. When you're finished, simply lift the art sheet and let the water drain off the art sheet. That is so simple. So, we have our colors, which I'm, I'm, I'm gonna actually kind of move off to the side. I wanna bring this forward. I wish there was like a little area to hold the reservoirs. So we have two pens, so you, can, you and your friend could do this at the same time. I guess they go this way. Oops, my, my dye is coming off. I should maybe if I go wash my hand. So we have the okay. Let's 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 okay. It goes this way. I keep wanting them to hold this way, but it goes this way. We have our our robot here. I kind of am just feeling we do have to mix our colors. So I want I'm feeling like a blue like a blue kind of situation. So we're gonna want to make blue, of course. So we have our our regular blue. And then I'm going, I'm thinking, hmm, okay, wait, gotta get, gotta get yellow and make, make green. Okay. And let's see, red and, red and blue make purple. So let's get a little bit of purple going on here. Some more pinkish. There we go. I'm feeling those colors. How about you guys? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and start with the blue. I feel like we're gonna use a lot of blue. So, okay. One, let's, let's, I'm gonna get a lot of blue here. There, that way I can move the reservoirs completely off to the side. And I can move this more here so you can see it a little better. I know it's hard to see. Um, let's just go ahead and try it. Wait, I gotta get some blue. Okay, so let's make his eyes. Okay, okay, I see you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is really interesting. Huh, <laughs> this is cool. Okay, so you squirt it on there, right? Oh, and then when it like accidentally goes onto the other area, you know, the knot, segment part it like sucks back over it's really cool so let's see let's let's do his hands so kind of like it just helps you it's easy it's easy to do blue oh wait his hands down here it's hard to explain it's just these bubbles keep coming out but you squeeze it and it goes on there. You kind of just spread it with the tip here. I'm running out of blue already. This is really neat. Huh. This is really cool. I want to kind of demonstrate how they like look. Okay, they said, oh. <laughs> They said you could just suck it back up, so if you squeeze it like that and then go. <laughs> it's really cool. Awesome. Okay, we have, we have a lot to do still. I underestimated the amount of color we'd need. I'm gonna speed do this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up the video and, and show ya at the end.
Ta-da, it's all done. Isn't it so cute? I actually really, really like this. I was really unsure of how I felt about it, but I love this. I think it's so cool. This is just water and dye and, and, and a little bit, you know, I'm not sure about this, but I'm sure it comes right off of the water. Uh, but oh, this is so cool and I don't want to tip it over because then it'll be, it'll be gone. It's such a cute robot. I think I picked such wonderful colors. <laughs> what do you guys think of this little robot? And then there's so many other ones to color. This is just super fun. So the way to clean up, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I can always recolor them if I want to. You guys kind of saw when, see how these like little spots came I don't even know if you can see that little spot right there. You can just suck it right up. It's really, really convenient. So, ready? And then you wipe this. I have like just a, a paper towel here. So, I'm just gonna, that I wiped my, my yellow dye off on. So, there you go. And then you just let it dry. And it's not stained. It's nothing. It's perfectly fine. It's just normal. <laughs> It's so cool. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think of this toy. I think it is so cool. I love it. I definitely will be playing with this once I'm done filming. <laughs> but let me know what you think. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.